What do you want? I know I'm the one going to face Sasha Banks now, but just wanted to say, nice match. Thanks. I'll admit you're better than I thought. But you're lucky I'm not 100%. If I was, I'd be the one taking on Sasha Banks tonight. So next time we fight, I promise it won't be anything like our first encounter. I look forward to seeing you at your best. That was amazing! Are you so excited? I'm so excited and I'm not even going to Raw. How springy do you think the mat will be? Same as here or slightly different? Do you think Sasha Banks will smell good? Will you bring me back something from catering? Oh, and some hotel shampoo? Fanny, you're starting to hyperventilate again. I know! This is embarrassing! You're the one going and I'm hyperventilating! <gasps> I guess I'm just hyperventilating on the inside. Right, I'm gonna go try to calm down. Good luck, and don't forget the shampoo! You sure are luckier than a skinny caribou in September. Lucky? I beat Sasha Banks fair and square. Don't ever forget the only reason you were there was because I was hurt. That should have been me. Yeah, but it wasn't you, was it? It was me. I was the one who beat Sasha Banks in front of millions. And you were still here crying about it. I am going to dedicate myself to showing the world the truth about you. That I deserve to compete with the best? I think they already know. Okay, tell me everything. How did it feel? Winning? I mean, it felt great. Obviously. No, not that. I want to know about the ring, the ropes. How was the catering? Do they use real silverware or plastic? Oh, do they have extra underwear in case you get so excited that you pee a little? Um, I didn't ask. Did you shower after? Sorry, stupid question. I don't think I would, though. Talk about a sweat souvenir. I can't believe you beat Sasha Banks. Do you want to watch the match? I've recorded the whole thing on my phone. I've seen it about 30 times already. No thanks. I was there. I know how it turned out. <laughs> totally. I'm gonna watch it again, though, either way. Still can't believe it! See you out there, champ! Well, if it isn't Miss Lucky... Well, if it isn't Miss Jealous... Not jealous. Vengeful. The only reason you got the chance to face Sasha Banks was because I was banged up. Excuses, excuses. Oh, then get in the ring with me again. I'm finally healthy. Let's find out who's right and who's a lucky poser. I'm not afraid to get my nails dirty. I'm in. Your submissions are weak. Just an FYI. Maybe you need an up-close demonstration. No. I can see how weak they are from a kilometer away. What makes you such an expert anyway? I'm from Calgary. We have a great tradition of submission wrestling. I thought you were from Saskatoon. That's close. Is it? Well, I trained in Calgary. I know. We all know. You trained in Calgary, home of the world-famous Hart family. And they taught you everything you know about wrestling. Well, no. I trained with Riley Flash. And he was trained by a guy who trained with a guy who knew them pretty well. So, you know, osmosis. Sounds like your science is as weak as your geography. Makes sense, though. Riley Flash is the Saskatoon of wrestling. I know you're insulting my mentor, even if I'm not exactly sure how. But we're getting in the ring for a good old-fashioned Calgary submission match to settle this. 
What's a Calgary submission match? Same as a regular submission match, but someone from Calgary is in the ring. So, really a Saskatoon submission match. You want to wrestle or not? Take it easy. Let's find out whose submission game needs work. Are you like so pumped? We get to meet William Regal! Do you think he'll sign my action figure? You have a William Regal action figure with you? Always! You never know! Uh, do you think they were just in the neighborhood or is something special going on? We're having a PC showcase. The GMs are coming to see if any of us are ready to be signed. What? I stopped listening after they said who was coming! This day just gets better and better! I cannot believe it! You're starting to hyperventilate again. I know! It's better I get it out now! I hope you're not too excited about this showcase. Josie, your jealousy's showing again. Jealous? Of you? You know everyone's coming to scout me, right? I'm finally healthy. Not like when you fluked into your match against Sasha. I'm gonna destroy Fanny and let everyone see who Josie Jane really is. Good luck. There's room in WWE for both of us. Let's go put on a show. I guess you expect me to congratulate you. No, but I'd appreciate it. And I'm sure you'll get your chance before long, too. You're not the only one who's getting out of here. I just got signed to SmackDown. Wow, good for you. At least someone who has real talent is getting their opportunity. As for you, I do not have high hopes. Funny, that's not what management thought. But maybe we can settle this someday if we ever end up on the same brand. Yeah, maybe. NXT? Who's got NXT? We got NXT! You got signed to NXT too? Yep, we're gonna be tearing it up with Dakota Kai, Mia Yim, Tegan Knox. I'm bringing my gear, my autograph book, and the bags I breathe into when I start to hyperventilate. Fanny, you've got to relax. We both got signed because we belong there. We're not fans anymore. Who knows, one of us could end up becoming NXT champion. You think you might become NXT champion? That's my plan. You have got to sign my autograph book! I guess I know where to turn if I ever need an ego boost. Just don't sign to Fanny in case I ever have to sell the autograph online. You get more cash if they're not personalized. This is going to be so much fun! Hey, you want to watch some old matches? I've got a great one lined up of Cactus Jack and my good buddy Edge. I met him at a gas station in 2009 and have considered him a friend ever since. Accosting people at random gas stations sounds exactly like how I expected you to try to make friends. Right place at the right time. So, you want to watch? No. Unlike you, I'm able to get wins in the ring, so I don't have to spend time watching my friends get wins instead. Um, I can get wins, especially after watching these old matches. My friends have been teaching me a lot. You want to find out how much you still have to learn? Face me in the ring. Sure. We can take a rain check on our dinner, popcorn, and watching old matches night. Let's do this. Wow, that did not go according to plan. Looks like I haven't quite mastered those new moves my wrestling friends have been teaching me. Well, you've sure mastered losing. Ha! <laughs> Nothing like a good friend to bust your chops. It's not busting chops, it's pointing out the obvious. You don't belong here. Oh, really? Because I know a lot of big-time wrestlers who would say otherwise. Oh, you mean your friends? That's right. I've got major connections. 
Watch your tongue or watch your back. Just because you played as someone on WWE 2K doesn't make them your friend. How about I bring in one of my friends next week for a tag match? That is, if you can find someone willing to team with you. Sure, I'll be happy to face you and whatever cardboard cutout you bring with you. What happened, Fanny? Couldn't find a wrestling fairy godmother to grant your wish? I guess paying for some autographs doesn't make someone your partner after all. Ugh, you got so lucky! My partner was coming down from Canada and got held up by customs. Your Canadian tag team partner got held up? <laughs> That's even better. Travel issues happen all the time in WWE. You of all people should know that. My friend will be here next week. We want another match. You don't know when to quit, do you? Fine. We'll whip you and your imaginary friend. Again. Not likely. Unless she can't get a rental car. That's happened before. Anyway, I'm pretty sure she'll be there. Wow. I saw all that drama on social media. Dakota's accusations are crazy. I know, right? I can't believe you said all those things. What? I didn't. Fanny, come on, you know me. Are you really going to trust Dakota's word over mine? Of course not, but when I told Dakota that, she looked me dead in the eyes and said, it's totally true, and she was serious in a way that I was really not prepared for, and it scared me a little bit, and now I'm thinking that, yes, I do believe her over you. I'm very disappointed. Seriously? After all we've been through? You know what? I've been so annoyed by this whole situation that I really need to blow off some steam in the ring. And since Dakota is dodging me, I think it should be you. So how about we see if I can change your mind that way? Do you ever step back and think about how odd it is that this is the only way we choose to settle our differences? Me neither. Let's do it! Looks like we're facing each other in the next round of the Mayon Classic. You won your first round match? Who did you face? Dakota Kai. She was about to hit me with the chiropractor, but then she slipped on the wet mat. I ended up capitalizing and I'm through. Why was the mat wet? I went full Triple H tribute on my entrance. Might have gone a bit overboard with the water spit part. Your counterattack is spitting water in the air? Good to know. I'll make sure to wear rain boots when I take you down. I think that would clash with your gear. And just so you know, I want that title shot against Rhea just as bad as you do. So be ready! Okay, Triple H2O. Ugh. I knew it was impossible to avoid you much longer. Nice to see you too, Josie. How have you been? Let's dispense with the pleasantries, okay? Thankfully, so far we've been able to stay out of each other's way for the most part. But as we both climb the ranks of SmackDown, that's not going to be an option anymore. And there's only room for one of us at the top. Well, I hope you enjoy the view. From down below. I'll tell you how things look from the top of the mountain, while you close your eyes and imagine what it would be like if you were as good as me. When I close my eyes, the only thing I see is you lying broken on the mat. Why don't you step in the ring with me, so I can make it a reality? I'll get in the ring with you. I could use a warm-up match before I face some real opponents. 
I hope you're not spending too much time celebrating or reading your mentions on social media. I'm spending the exact right amount of time celebrating the absolutely glorious way I shut you down. You might have beaten me once, but I just talked to Adam Pierce, and now we're doing a best of three series. Nice of him to let me know. I'm letting you know now, and I'll let you know that I'm going to beat you twice to prove who's ready to take their career to the next level, unless you can't handle that kind of pressure. I'm happy to give you another chance, because I know I can handle the pressure, and I know I can beat you again. It's only going to help my case as I work towards being SmackDown Women's Champion. We'll see. Listen, I don't know when we might meet in the ring again, but it's clear that neither you or I are going anywhere. I know I'm not going anywhere anytime soon. It's also clear that this rivalry isn't going away either. You're going to get some wins, I'm going to get some wins. I don't see any of that changing. But the one thing that has changed is that after that series, I certainly have gained a lot of respect for you and your abilities. Thank you. I appreciate you saying that. We might have had our differences, but I want you to know I've got your back, no matter what. And I hope when push comes to shove, if I ever need it, you'll have mine too. I will. Good luck out there. And maybe we'll both make that leap to the next level. Together. Yeah. Maybe. So, uh, thanks for trying to help me out there, I mean. I know we've had our differences in the past, but we came up together. And that counts for something. I'm just sorry I couldn't do more. Yeah, well, it seems pretty clear to me that Shayna stacked the cards against me from the start. That no DQ proposal was just an excuse to have her crew come down and interfere in the match. It's technically legal, but it's a dirty move. I've got to get my title back somehow. Well, like I said, I've got your back. Thanks. Clearly I could use the help, but against the three of them, I think we'll need more reinforcements. What do you have in mind? Since Shayna likes to play dirty, I've got the perfect idea to hit her right where it hurts. I like the sound of this. <laughs> 